She wow, where have you been? We have been expecting your call. It was my dad's 72nd birthday and those were the words of my mom. And I haven't seen her so joyful in the recent past. Dad also joined the call and they both were having the best day of their lives despite being locked down for months due to the pandemic. Dad, happy birthday. Thank you, son. When are you coming home? It's been a long time. Dad, air travel is restricted due to the pandemic. And I will come once things get better. Yes, son, this virus has impacted everyone. Many have even lost their livelihood. As I ended the call, I started thinking. I hardly spent any time with my parents for years now. Whose loss is it? Two days later, I got a call from my brother Sudhakar late in the night. As I answered the call, I can hear him crying inconsolably. Shiva, we lost our mother. We rushed her to the hospital due to an emergency. But due to COVID, she hardly got any emergency care. And we lost her in just 45 minutes. I know you can't travel due to the restrictions. I will call again. As I finished the call, I started thinking of all the things I will never be able to do with my mom. No more of those caring phone calls to check whether I ate properly. Filled with these memories, I hardly could sleep that night. As weeks passed by, it dawned upon me. I lost my mother forever. Few weeks later, I got at another call from my brother late in the night. Shiva, we admitted dad in the ICU. His situation is critical and he is longing to see you. Try to travel immediately. By that time, the Indian government started special flights for family emergencies and I managed to travel by the weekend. After seeing me, dad's health started recovering. For the next few weeks, I spent all the time taking care of dad by his bedside. Those were the best days of my life. As we recollected past, we discussed a various topics ranging from spirituality, yoga, meditation, and my speaking. Dad watched my speeches and said, Shiva, you look handsome like a movie star. Few weeks later, Dad announced, Without your mom, I don't want to live anymore. Exactly three days later, Dad left this world peacefully. As I was sitting by his side, holding his hand, I didn't cry. I couldn't even say goodbye to mom. But with dad, I was able to create many new memories that I will cherish for a lifetime. Friends, we think we need to give time to our loved ones. But the truth is we need to grab every opportunity to create memories with them. This pandemic has taken over 2 million lives and many millions have lost their loved ones. If you are still lucky to have your loved ones around you, then grab every opportunity to create memories with them. Because once they're gone, it's your loss. It's your loss.